Earlier this hour, we covered Facebook's latest public relations blunder, their PR agency caught trying to plant negative stories about Google. Well, now we're going to talk to Divya Narendra, who you may remember was depicted in the movie The Social Network as the partner of the Winklevoss twins who commissioned Mark Zuckerberg to build a social network at Harvard. Now, Divya Narendra is now getting his law degree and business degrees from Northwestern and has bootstrapped a really interesting new venture called Sum Zero. You could call it the Facebook of Wall Street. Divya is uh, live from our Chicago bureau. Uh, Divya, some zero, pretty interesting, a social network for the buy side on Wall Street. How's it work? Well, the basic concept, hi Corey, uh, first of all, um, the basic concept was really to get professional investors who historically would never have you know, shared their investment ideas uh, in any sort of systematic or centralized way to do so online and to create a massive investment idea research repository that covered every company in the world. And um, you know, we wanted to limit the contributors of these ideas to uh, hedge fund analysts, mutual fund analysts, um, essentially professional investors who, who, who do this sort of research full time. Um, and you know, up until some zero, that, that never really existed. So um, well, you know, I, people I was always, on yeah. I was on the buy side for a while, and, and the work that we did on the buy side was very different than the work that, you know, the, to some degree, when we were being snarky, we'd look at the sell side analysts, the guys that we have on the show every once in a while, as the guys who would set the estimate that was wrong, and that was their principal value. Right. But it's rare that you would get to share your homework with the guys on the buy side, all the other hedge funds and the, and the money managers who were doing a different kind of homework. Exactly. I, you know, I think um, amongst the buy side community, or within the buy side community, there there's, I think, a, a, a healthy dose of um, skepticism on, you know, what's coming from the sell side in terms of their consensus estimates. And, you know, as a buy side professional, you're paid to, you're paid based on your performance. And um, there's obviously a huge premium on being correct and doing, you know, deep research. And it was hard in the past to, to find someone else on the buy side who covered the same company as you. Um, maybe you'd have a friend or maybe a colleague who worked yeah. at your own fund, but if you were trying to reach out to somebody who covered a company that wasn't covered by one of your colleagues, um, it was fairly difficult. And so what we've made really easy is for professional investors to find each other based upon uh, the companies that they cover in common and to, you know, to, to get that thesis from somebody else who's done a lot of primary research, who's done channel checks, who's built you know, a detailed model, um, who's un who understands the catalyst that could push the price of a security up or down, um, and to share that to share that information in a in an honest and open way. Um, that's sort of what we've created. Well, so when when, it, when I first heard of some zero and checked it out, I I was shocked that there's actually some good work on there because usually if you're doing really good work on Wall Street, you don't want anyone else to see it because that's the thing of value. Why would anyone share? I've seen it happen. I just understand why they do it. The really good models and the really good research on some zero. Yeah, people ask me this all the time. There, there are three principal reasons. So one is access to some zero is entirely reciprocity based, and the way that works is uh, when an analyst posts an idea that that grants him access for six months to everyone else's ideas. So as our idea database grows, or as our content grows, uh, there's more of an incentive to you know take the time to to put up a detailed report in order to access everyone else's um, research. Then secondly, people are typically writing about companies where the, their fund already has a position, and they're, they're very open about it. They actually disclose that uh, on the write-ups themselves. And so um, you know, once you have a position in, in a company, it's, it, it's in your interest, actually, to tell the investment community why you took on that position in the first place. Um, and you know, I think some people get worried about uh, pumping and dumping and things like that, but because our analysts are, you, you know, their names are associated with the research that they're posting, um, the incentive is really for them to be as honest as possible, uh, you know, within some zero. And then thirdly, it's a great feedback mechanism because, you know, even if you think you have the greatest investment idea in the world, uh, there's a good chance there's somebody else who's smart, who's done a lot of work on that name, who might have the opposite thesis as you. And so that's an incredibly valuable um, component of yeah. the website as well. So you know, you might search for Netflix and find that there are 50 analysts who cover that particular company. Some of them might be long the name, some of them might be short the name. Uh, but being able to, to figure out, OK, I'm long this company, but what's the short thesis? Or if I'm short this company, what's the long thesis to, to, to better vet out your research and potentially size your position right. Um, is, is something that you know people find very valuable on the site. Right, Jimmy, I got to ask you really quick. The movie. Sure. Yeah, do you like it? Couldn't they pick someone more handsome to play you in the Social Network? <laughs> uh, well, I had no choice in in in, in the casting, but um, I thought the movie was great. It was it was entertaining, and um, you know, I I uh, 
never would have for you know never would have expected something like that to happen to me when I you know first came up with the concept back in college. But um, it's it's been a fun ride. But you know I've been trying to move on to other things, yeah. and uh, you know I'm I'm just as excited right. about some zero as I was about you know connecting as when, am I. when that concept originated. Divya, uh, good luck with that. Really appreciate you coming on, Divya Narenda from Sum Zero. Thanks, Corey.